Hello, welcome back to another video and another front crawl analysis video. This is another footage that I found online of a guy uh, attempting his front crawl and he shot it all underwater. So it's a very different angle that we're used to seeing, but I will do my best to analyze this footage. So let's take a look. I noticed a few things right off the bat. So, first of all, you notice that he's doing the one-two breathe again. I don't know who came up with this concept of one-two breathe, but like I said in previous videos, we don't do one-two breathe unless we're near the finish line or we're sprinting. And in this case, this guy's background is uh, he's trying to do 500 meters of this type of swimming and I'm gonna tell you he's gonna gas out pretty quickly if he's gonna keep keep this up so if I'm doing 500 meters of continuous front crawl swimming or more I incorporate three arms to one breath method okay so you've probably seen this already I go one two three breathe on one side one two three breathe on the other side okay we do odd numbers in front crawl breathing because we want to balance both sides okay we breathe on this side and we breathe on the other side if we only incorporate even numbers like this guy doing one two breathe we only breathe on one side and we develop an imbalance okay he's he's, he's going to be stronger on one side and totally weak on the other and that's not what it's all about when we kick we don't want one leg dominating over the other, do we? No. When we're front kicking, we want both legs to be equal. So if we want our legs to be equal, and our arms to be equal, and our breathing to be equal in front crawl, do odd numbers of arms, okay? When you're doing front crawl, it works. Second thing I noticed. Okay, you can't see it, but I can. His hands are open. Okay, his hands are doing the claw. The claw, okay? When you do this in the water, you're scraping nothing, okay? You're just an empty net pulling through the water. You need to grab the water, grab the water by putting your fingers together and then pull. Once you grab the, once you put your fingers together, you turn your hands from a net into a spoon, okay? You want to pull the water and not let any of that water flow through your hand. Pull, pull, okay? So, I want you to take your hand, shake your hands out, okay? Okay, nice and loose. It should look like this right now, okay? Now, I want you to put your fingers together, nice and relax, okay? Now, straighten your hands out a little bit, and this is your arm, okay? This is how, what my arm looks like when I'm pulling, okay? Now, you notice that I'm not tensing my fingers like this, like a flat board. I see some people do that, I don't know why. Because if you do this, you notice you're gonna feel it, the tension right here in your forearms. We don't want any unnecessary tension, wasted energy when we're doing front crawl, okay? This is not gonna work for thousands and thousands of laps, okay? This can. It's firm, but it's not tight. Like, I'm not tensing, but it's firm. It's a firm. Think of it like, not like a stainless steel spoon, but think of it like a plastic spoon, okay? If you had ice cream, you know what I'm talking about. When you scoop with a stainless steel spoon, the spoon doesn't bend at all. However, when you try to dig into really frozen ice cream, you're gonna warp that stainless steel spoon. Think of it that way. However, if you're scooping ice cream, soft serve ice cream, using a plastic spoon, you notice that the spoon bends a little. Same thing with your hand, okay? Think of your hand as a plastic spoon scooping ice cream. Soft serve ice cream, okay? Except the soft serve ice cream is water in this scenario, okay? So you scoop, 
and you keep your fingers closed when in contact with the water. Once your hand exits the water, then you release. Release, release, enter back in, close. I know this is a mind game for a lot of you, but it just takes hours and hours of practice doing this, okay, until your mind gets it, okay? A lot of us think that, you know, we're closing and opening our fingers at the right moment, but we're not. And this footage just proves that. So again, firm but not tense, okay? Pulling, 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 and then release once your hand exits the water. Once your hand exits the water, it should be loosey-goosey, okay? There should be no tension. You shouldn't be tensing when you're in the air. That's totally counterproductive. Uh, hmm. Okay, his follow-through. The way he's pulling. Normally, or ideally, we want to pull using a 90 degree angle. So you can notice, you see that my hand, my arm, from here to here, it looks like a 90 degree angle or a giant L in the water. Okay, this is ideal. Why? Because we want to pull the water from here to here. Think of your, your, your fingertips here, all the way to your elbow, as a giant plastic spoon. We don't want our spoon from here to here, okay? Then we're doing windmill arms, okay? Windmill arms are good for the beginning just to get used to the, the movement of front crawl. But later on, once you put more time and effort into your front crawl, you want to refine your technique and make it more optimal, okay? So think of it this way. Which is more easier, scooping ice cream using a spoon from here to here or scooping ice cream from here to here. Obviously, through trial and error, you're gonna notice that the short shovel is a lot easier to, to handle. When you pull from here to here, you, you'll notice that it's a lot more taxing on the body. It's gonna be, every pull is harder to manage over time, okay? And if he's gonna do 500 meters of the worth of this, he's gonna gas out easily, okay? So, just remember, L shapes. And every time you pull, you pull, imagine your elbow being yanked out of the water. Okay, so you pull, we'll do it. Hand, hand into the water, fingers open. Into the water, fingers closed. Someone's yanking my elbow out of the water and I'm pulling the water at the same time. Okay, so it's the difference from this to this. Do you see the, the difference? I'm pulling more from my shoulder, pulling more from my elbow. Okay, like that. Try to reach for something behind you, okay? So in my case, I'll try to reach the wall, okay? Try to reach the wall doing this versus this. This versus this. Which is easier? Try it 10 times. <laughs> You're gonna feel more tension if you do it uh, uh, like this, okay? That's what we do from the elbow. Elbow's easier. This guy has some stuff to work on, but I think he's pretty good. And uh, that's it for now. My name's Justin. Happy swimming this summer, 2021. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.